Howdy, class. Now remember when I said, see you next semester? Well, you see, your chemistry teacher can't make it today because of unforeseen circumstances, leaving me to substitute for him, even if I don't have any knowledge on chemistry. But hey, I'll give it a shot. Now, before we start, uh, just one question. Where's the rest of the class? Guten Morgen, Leo. Guten Bacon to you too. Uh, you? Something you'd like to tell me? All of you are customers died in an attempt to start a vote about three. Ah, I see. Well, seeing how you're still here, I guess I'll just start now. I wouldn't hmm? think that if I were you. Hello? Did you shoot yourself? Don't say anything if you didn't suit yourself. Alright, as long as there's a student to teach, I've got a job to keep. <sighs> now let's see here. Oh my god, that fun is horrendous. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, now we're back, and just to let you know, I was too busy making the font look actually good. So I didn't actually read the content, so I'm still going to present this blindly. Now let's begin. Acid and base. It's not by me, it's by your chemistry teacher. Oh my god. Okay, I know I'm supposed to teach chemistry today. But let me give you a little lesson on PowerPoint presentation. Don't put table of contents in your presentation. It serves no purpose at all. I mean like, if you're presenting something, you're going to from start to finish. Why will you need a table of contents? <clears throat> let me just delete this for a second. There. No, it's good. Okay, let me begin. Let me redo it again. Acid and base. By not me, you're a chemistry teacher. Now, acid. It has a pH of lower than 7. It is corrosive. Tastes sour. Releases H plus ion in aqueous solution. Litmus indicator solution turns red in acidic solution. Huh. Base. What, like a military base or something? Uh huh. Hold up. There. So how do they are in news? Acid is a sun substance that produces hydrogen ion when it dissolves in water. This is a substance that produces hydroxide ion when dissolved in water. For example, HCl AQ uh, that H plus plus Cl. I think the teacher left me some note on how to read this stuff. Hold up. Uh, NaOH that that <laughs> you, you guys can read right uh, I don't need to read it for you right Johannes Bronsted and Thomas Lowry acid is a substance that donates proton and base is a substance that accepts protons that oh, is that the only okay so that, yeah. Gilbert and Lewis. Acid is a substance that accepts electron and base is a substance that donates electron. Basically like the last one except the role here is reverse and it is electrons instead of protons. And the example is that. I'm not gonna read it. Chemical reaction. Acid with reactive metal. Metal plus acid is will result in a gas salt plus hydrogen gas that uh, 
but I guess it is because the CU is not label. I don't know. But I think the teacher told me that NR means no reaction. So there's that. Reaction with carbonate. Carbonate plus acid equals salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. That is the example. Reaction with bicarbonate. Bicarbonate, bicarbonate plus acid equals salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. That. Reaction with metallic oxide. Metallic oxide plus acid equals salt plus water. And that's the example. Reaction with metallic hydroxide. Metallic hydroxide plus acid yield salt plus water. And that is the example. Neutralization reaction. Acid plus base equals salt plus water. And that is the example. Reaction of base with ammonium salt. Ammonium salt plus base plus salt plus water. But wait. Ammonium salt plus base equals the salt plus water plus ammonia gas. And that is the example. Reaction of base with a metal salt. What? Salt plus base. Salt 1 plus base equals salt 2 plus nitrous metallic hydroxide. And that is an example. Okay, so calculation. Right. This thing is right up my alley, so I think I can do it. Number of replaceable ions. Refers to the total number of positive or negative charge of the ion to compose a compound. Equivalent mass refers to the ratio between the relative mass of a given substance and its number of replaceable ions. Here are the example. It's the wait what? I don't I think it's supposed to be HCl or something, I don't know. I don't think Okay. HCl has one replaceable ion, I guess. H2SO4. Has two replaceable ions. AOH3 has three. MG3PO4. I should know how to read this. It has six replaceable ions. And I guess that's supposed to be the equivalent mass. Let's say the relative mass divided by number of replaceable ions. Huh. Calculate the mass of calcium nitrate. The relative mass of calcium nitrate is that. The, the number of replaceable ions is 2. So the equivalent mass is 82. There. Wow, what a great explanation. I'm such a great teacher. Now, uh, number of equivalents. Refers to the ratio between the given mass of a substance and its equivalent mass. Number of equivalent equals to the mass over equivalent mass. What is the number of equivalent of 20.5 grams of barium hydroxide? The answer is, first you find the relative mass, and then the number of replaceable ions, which is 2, then the equivalent mass, 171 divided by 3 equals 86. Now remember, in science, you need to use significant figures. Number of equivalent is equal to... 20.5 divided by 86 equals to 0 0.238 Normality Basically, uh, my normality is negative 100 Refer to the number of equivalents of solute per liter of a solution Normality equals number of equivalents divided by number of equivalents for the solute over the volume of this Solution. Polarity refers 
refers to the number of moles of solids per liter of the solution. Molarity refers to the wall over volume. Calculations involving naturalizing reaction. Calculations involving neutralizing reaction. Acid plus base is salt plus one. Number of equivalent of acid is equal to the number of equivalent of base. So, with this, uh, this, wait, no. And with some magic, with workarounds on the formula, number of equivalent equals to normality multiplied by the volume. Number of equivalent of the acid equals to the normal number of equivalent of the acid equals normality of the acid multiplied by the volume of the acid. Number of equivalent of the base equals to the number of <coughs> equals to the normality of the base multiplied by the volume of the base. And if you have a basic common sense you get that. Percent acidity the first the percentage of acidity in terms of the ratio between the mass of the acid solid and the mass of acid solution. Percent acidity equals to that uh, mass of the acid solute over mass of the acid solution multiplied by 100%. Example. A sample of 15 milliliters of vinegar is titrated, titrated against the 0.1 N sodium hydroxide solution. If the amount of sodium hydroxide used is 125 milliliters, find the mass of the acetic acid in vinegar. V the percent acidity of the vinegar. Now for the answer is first place down the given so that uh, so that it is more convenient for you that so with that form the formula we just found using the formula we found just now we can find the normality of the acid which is equal to 0 0.80 0 0.833 now you find the relative mass, which is equal to 60. Number of replaceable ions is 1. Equivalent mass, and you use the formula, is equal to 60. And the number. No. Oh. And the number of equivalents is equal to the normality multiplied by the volume of the solution. Is equals to that 0 0.0125. Number of equivalents equals to mass divided by equivalent equivalent mass. Mass of the acid of the solute of the acid equals to the number of equivalent multiplied by the equivalent mass, which is 0 0.0125 multiplied by 60 equals to 0 0.750 grams percent acidity equals to the mass of the solute of the acid divided by the mass of the acid of well, mass of the solution of the acid multiplied by 100 percent and then you get 5 percent now remember uh, uh, to get the mass of the solution, you need to remember density. Remember the density of water is one gram. Water. One gram per milliliter. So you will fight that with the volume. Then you get fifteen grams. Copper next time. What? I can't even make a good ending.
that's all folks do you have any question no i assume not good luck on your exam What else do I have? I hope you're doing fine. Anyways, take care.